Hey, Algebra 2, this lesson is entitled Special Factors. Special Factors. It's the same thing we did yesterday, but or our, for our last lesson, but we're going to work our way backwards. So, instead of starting off with A plus B squared, we're going to go backwards. Um, if you get something in the format of A squared plus 2AB plus B squared, we can rewrite it as a plus b squared. If you have something in the format of a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, that'll equal a minus b squared. This is just how we can rewrite it. We're not solving for anything, we're just rewriting it. And if we have something in this format, a squared minus b squared, we can rewrite it as a plus b times a minus b. So let's try a problem here. If I give you 25x squared minus 64. So just try to figure out which format this ma matches up with on this right side of the equal sign. Well, I only see two terms with a minus in, in, uh, in between, so it's going to match up with a squared minus b squared. So it says the way we break it into two parentheses here is just take the square root of our first term, which is our first term is 25x squared. So if we were to take the square root of that, the square root of 25 is 5. The square root of x squared is just x. It says put that in the front of both parentheses. We have a plus and a minus. Okay, it's that format. And the one, what we put here is the square root of what's in this position. So the square root of 64 is 8. So that's our final answer, 5x plus 8 times 5x minus 8. So again, notice two terms minus in between. So we're going to use this format to rewrite it like this. Now if I were to give you this, 9y to the fourth minus 12y squared plus 4, okay? Well, again, try to match it up. I see three terms. So this a squared minus b squared uh, becomes not an option, okay? So it's going to be one of these where you have three terms. Well, I see a minus and a plus. So I, it matches up with our middle row here. So I'm going to rewrite it with a minus in between that parentheses squared. Okay? What I have to figure out is what is a and b? Well, 9y to the fourth is in the position of a squared. So what I have to do is square root it. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of y to the fourth is cut the exponent in half. So y squared. 4 is in the posi position of b squared, so we root it. The square root of 4 is 2, and therefore you're done. And just to make sure you're doing this correctly, take your two terms, multiply them together, so that gives us 6y squared, 3y squared times 2. Now if you were to double it, do you get the term in the middle? In this case we do, so therefore um, we're doing this problem correctly. Okay. Um, so that's how we do that. Let's, let's try um, one last problem here. Or actually, I think that, that, that'll be good for now. So hope, hopefully you guys are understanding that. That's how we rewrite that format. Now let's make this a little bit... Or let's, let's add another step to this. 25x squared minus 40x plus 16 minus 9y squared. So now we have four terms here, okay? We have four terms here. So what we're going to want to do is first take these front three. Because I see x squared, x to the first, no x. Now what I'm going to try to do is break that one down, okay? This matches up right here, so I can actually write it with a minus in between, because again, it matches up with our middle row. Minus plus, minus plus. The square root of a squared, so what's in the position of a squared? Right here, the 25x squared. The square root of that is going to give us 5x. Now it says b squared, or 16. Take the square root of that to find b. So the square root of 16 is 4. So now we can rewrite this 5x minus 4 squared minus 9y squared. But now, this is actually one term squared minus another term squared is in this format, so we can break this down a little bit more. So again, it says a squared minus b squared, 
the way you rewrite it is a plus b times a minus b. Well, this is in the position of a squared. This is in the position of b squared. So we're going to rewrite it as two parentheses. So the square root of 5x minus 4 squared is a square and a root just cancel out. So a is just 5x minus 4. Then it says you can have opposite symbols on the inside, plus, minus. Then the square root of b, uh, of the square root of b squared. In this case, the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of y squared is y. So we get 3y. Again, these are a little bit more difficult because um, you're going to have four terms there. So what we did is we broke down these first three terms to write, rewrite it as one parenthesis squared. Now, again, this is in the format of a squared minus b squared. So we took the square root of that, which gives us 5x minus 4, put it in the front of both parentheses, plus minus, plus minus, b. So we took the square root of this, which gives us 3y. Again, quite a bit of a harder problem, but I know you guys can do it. Let's do one more of those. We get 16x squared minus 4y squared minus 12y minus 9. So now we have y squared, y to the first, no y. Uh, but we don't, we don't want a negative y squared. So what we're going to do is we're going to factor out a negative from these three terms here. So I'm going to rewrite it 16x squared minus, and I factored out a negative, so that changes all these symbols. Okay. Now, hopefully you notice that this is now in the format of a squared plus 2ab plus b squared which we can rewrite as a plus b squared. So that's what we're going to do. We have 16x squared minus, now we're going to end up with a parenthesis squared. What's the square root of 4y squared? 2y plus the square root of 9, which is 3. Which makes sense because to find our middle term, 2y times 3 is 6, double it, and we get 12y. So we know this is... Um, what works. And again, this is in the format of a squared minus b squared now, which is a plus b times a minus b. Here goes our a squared, here goes our b squared. So it says rewrite it in two parentheses. So a goes out in front. What's the square root of 16x squared? 4x. Again, the square root, 4x plus minus. Well, um, the square root of this, the square just cancel out. So the, what's in the parentheses plays the role of b. So we have 2y plus 3. Here we have 2y plus 3. Okay? So our final answer, we don't want two parentheses. We don't want a parentheses inside a parentheses. Since this is just plus, we can write it without it. But since this is a minus, you have to distribute that negative. So you get 4x minus 2y minus 3. So this would be our final answer of factoring this problem up here down. So again, first, we don't want a negative y squared, so we factor the negative out. Here, since, since it's in this format, we broke it down as one parentheses, square root, square root. Now this is in the format of a squared minus b squared, so we have our two parentheses, a, square root of that plus b, so the square root, again, of a parenthesis squared, you just get rid of that square. You have 2y plus 3, 2y plus 3. And lastly, if you have that negative, you distribute the negative, and this will be our final answer. So I know these are a lot more difficult, but um, again, math is progressive. It builds upon itself. So good luck with that. Now we have just two final problems, and we'll, we're done with this section. Now the problem is, what happens if when we have cubed? We have something cubed. There's actually a special format to rewrite that as well. A cubed plus B cubed. Now, what we do is we can break this up into A plus B. Again, this is a little uh, format, special format that works. A squared minus AB plus B squared. And I'll prove to you that it works. If you were to distribute here, 
each term you get a cubed minus a squared b plus a b squared. Now distribute here, you get plus a squared b minus a b squared plus b cubed. Okay, notice these would cancel out. The a b squared minus a b would cancel out. You're just left with a cubed plus b cubed. Again, this was just a proof that uh, the way we, we rewrite a squared plus b, or a cubed plus b cubed is this, these two parentheses. So that was, again, just the proof of that. So we're going to use that to solve these, to simplify these problems. So now, if I give you a problem like this, 64x cubed minus 27y cubed. And I want you to simplify this. Okay, or I want, sorry, I want you to factor this. If I want you to factor this, it's in this format, a cubed plus b cubed, uh, sorry, um, we have our parentheses, we're going to have our bigger parentheses here. We can go ahead and plug our symbols in, because again, this, these, uh, this is an identity that works. So now, what is the, what to the third power is 64? And you'll find out 4 times 4 times 4 is 64, so a is going to be 4x because the cube root of x cubed is x. What to the third power is 27? 3 times 3 times 3. So that's going to give us 3y. So here goes our a and b. And now we're going to plug in here. a cubed, 4x or squared, sorry, a squared. So that gives us 4 squared, 4x squared, which is 16x squared. Because we square the 4, square the x. This one says multiply a and b. 4x times 3y is 12xy. Again, 4x times 3y is 12xy. This says b squared. 3y is in the position of b, so when you square that, you get 9y squared. Again, quite a few steps, um, but I'm always here to help too. If you have questions, by, by all means, ask questions throw them online or ask me at school. And in like manner, if you have a cubed minus b cubed, we can rewrite this as a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So if you get a problem like that, um, you can rewrite it in this format. So this right here, 64x cubed minus 27y cubed, your answer would be 4x minus 3y times 16x squared plus 12xy plus 9y squared. So the, those, these two symbols switch um, from, this, I, from this format to this format. Okay. So good luck with that. And uh, yes, watch this as many times as you want, whatever it takes to, to help, and again, ask questions if you need it. So good luck with that.